Good morning. Um, I am just on my way to my dog walking. Um, my shoulder is really killing me this morning. So much so I couldn't even hold the camera in that hand. <sighs> this week I've just been so extra tired. It started off with one bad night's sleep and I was just not caught up at all. So, just going to go and walk the dog. And then we'll see what else we've got planned today. That was eventful, folks. Um, so, I got literally to the end of the drive. And there's a poor little blue pregnant staffy running up and down the road. No collar or anything. So... I took her in and tried to find our owner basically so that's taken a little while but reunited with her owner and good thing because she was three weeks away from giving birth so good story but I'm already out of breath and I haven't walked the dog I meant to walk yet <laughs> The sun is shining, it is a beautiful day. Um, I'm out of breath, my back's really sore, and my knee's really starting to hurt, but it's absolutely glorious. So, we're getting at home, but I'm just in a t-shirt, it's beautiful. Lunch time. <laughs> I meant to have my tablets half hour before I eat. Oops. It beat me. It was tasty, but it beat me. <sighs> That's cool. You feel a bit icky when you've eaten a bit too much. So, I think I'm done. Just feeling a little bit sick and I have a really bad headache. I ate that a bit too quick and I ate a bit too much. Go. Coming in. Coming. <sighs> it's been a really long day. Um, I'm absolutely knackered. I'm in a lot of pain. Like my shoulders and my neck and my head are giving me a lot of grief. I'm just really tired and hurting. We went to see a film, went to see Dog's Purpose, which was. Um, good actually, sad, very sad, but I enjoyed it, I love dogs, <laughs> I need puppies, but uh, I nearly fell asleep when we got there because I was just so, so tired, and then we came back and went round to give Mike's nephew his birthday presents and stayed there for a bit, and then got home and started sorting some things for our holiday, which is coming really soon now, which is exciting and kind of scary and a bit nervy at the same time because obviously there's so much to try and sort for it um, but some really good news today is this came through my blue badge so really thankful for that and not having to stress about it and um, I think it will make life so much easier for me and hopefully stop me getting so out of breath and struggling places I mean, I can get the wheelchair in the car easier, like, it'll just be amazing. So, very thankful, very exhausted, very in pain. Not looking forward to tomorrow morning, as I've got to get up really early. But, um, I also miss this afternoon's meds, or this evening's meds. And we haven't really had any dinner, so that's not helped either, because we had dinner at lunchtime. So, yeah, just gonna have a big glass of water and settle down and watch Master Chef with Mum before heading up to bed at about ten. My arm's really hurting from holding this camera. <laughs> so, pain's been pretty bad today, really. 
my head. I've got an awful headache, but so has my mum. So it could be something to do with the weather. I don't know. It really, really hurts. My neck, my shoulders, all got a little bit much earlier. And I'm not ashamed to admit, I did have a little cry. I need to do. Um, it's just got to that level today. Um, I had a little wheat pack on my neck to try and help, but I don't think it's done very much. Just warmed me up nicely. Hopefully tomorrow, when I see the GP, I can start getting on the right medications, just generally for my pain, but then also for when I have one of these bad headache migraine type attacks, so hopefully I'll start getting that a bit more sorted tomorrow and talk to him about seeing a rheumatologist as well because he referred me back in February but my appointment's not till July and then when they wrote to him when he wrote to them to move it forward they moved it back <laughs> so gonna have a little fight on our hands tomorrow and it's not great that it's really early in the morning but I'm gonna try my best <laughs> I just hope this pain in my head settles down a little bit Um, the light is so bright. I'll speak to you in the morning. No. I'm super exhausted, but I can't sleep. My head is really, really not happy. And now my tummy's come out in sympathy. And there's bloated and it's really painful. And then my elbows are having a bit of fun. They just um, decide they want to get really uncomfy and need clicking. I'm so exhausted and I just want to mm. sleep. Everything aches and feels really heavy. And I can't really move. But I need to take my tablets because I need to get to the doctor's. on fire and I don't really know why because I didn't do too much yesterday in terms of walking anyway and my head is just horrible and I haven't even really sat up yet so one part of me is kind of glad because I'm actually going to the doctors today and I'm actually super symptomatic because half the time you go to the doctors and you're actually feeling okay and then you feel a bit stupid the rest of the day I'm in a lot of pain <laughs> on the other hand I really don't want to be in a lot of pain but um I don't know how I'm quite going to drag myself out of bed but I'm going to have to I really need to do my shoulder exercises first and then I'll try and get dressed it's VEDS Awareness Day Vascular EDS um, so I'm going to wear red today for Vascular EDS but apart from that I've no idea what I'm going to wear so <laughs> I have to decide Ooh, that's probably my alarm telling me to get up okay it's time to leave for my doctor's appointment so been to the GP and he prescribed what I asked him to um, that the neurologist had recommended um, couldn't do anything about the rheumatology referral I'm just going to have to keep waiting uh, he said he had one 
poor child that he did a rheumatology referral for and it's not till January next year so it's getting absolutely ridiculous but at least I have an appointment and it's not too far away now starting on a pain medication which might hopefully help kick this pain out a little bit so I can just break the cycle and start trying to exercise and get a bit stronger again that's my hope anyway we've taken the dog for a walk and I feel okay um, though she did nearly trip my mum over <laughs> silly thing that's your 24 hours of EDS it's a, it's a painful journey and it's every day this is my EDS I've just realised that one of the only things I was meant to do at the doctor's which was to ask him to write a letter for me um, to send off for my disabled student allowance for going back to uni it's one of the things I didn't do which really wasn't very clever stupid brain fog stupid early morning